So in today's technical corner, I'm joined uh, by Ross Milne from Ram Engineering and Tooling. And we're talking today about the Fermat range of machines, horizontal boring machines. Um, but specifically for this technical corner, we're going to be talking about the WFT range. Um, Ross, just give us a very quick overview of this product built in the Czech Republic, isn't it? Yep. 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 Built in the, the Czech Republic. They've got history dating back to about uh, 1901. Um, as a company, so they've been in the, the horizontal boring market for a long, long time. The, the the machine that they sell the most of, it's a fairly standard sized WFT13, um, fairly standard sized borer mill. And um, we can have the ram and the quill, or you can just have it with the quill. Um, but essentially, with a serious extension there, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. With the uh, with the quill, the quill can go out to 730 on this range. Um, and the RAM itself goes out to 800. In the larger ranges, you can go up to uh, 1.3 metres. The first um, thing on people's minds is going to be the droop on that. Yeah, no, absolutely. No concerns? No. The, well, there's no concerns because they've engineered that problem out. So we've got algorithms that run in the background and we've got pre-tensioned screws in the top that stop the droop when it goes forward. Okay, so so what is the WFT? I mean, the WFT, where does it where does it start and where does it finish, as I always say? I mean, you, you've got yeah. uh, a gentleman here sitting on a table. It's obviously a dual pallet machine, this one that's the, moving in the, and out. This particular one's a dual pallet machine. Yeah, they're, they're very versatile. You can have dual pallet. You don't have to have dual pallet. You can actually have a, a pallet change set up with this as well. But essentially, this WFT range, it starts at the 11 size and goes up to the 15 size. Um, it, we're normally talking about the quill diameter. So 110 up to 150 within this range. Again, the larger machines, they go up to 160 diameter. Again, good for rigidity and things. Yeah, I mean, I've got, got notes here. You, you're talking about, uh, there's, there's plenty of options on the machines. Um, but these sort of options, when I look at the competitions machines, are pretty similar in some instances. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'd like to try and explore a, about the machine's technology yeah, and yeah. why you why you maybe think that these um, should be selected yeah, as yeah. the machine of choice. To, to be honest, um, selection, I'm glad you mentioned selection because we tend to, Ram Engineering, we tend to try and select companies that have control over what it is they do. So again, as with other ranges that we have, um, most of the product, most of the parts for the products rather, are built in-house. So even the heads, as you can see, this is them putting together the There's heads. There's been quite a focus on this on some of the videos that we've uh, seen. Absolutely, absolutely. They, they look after the whole process themselves. So they make the component parts, they assemble them in-house, they balance them in-house. Um, they test them for long periods of time before they're allowed to go out with the machine. But again, modular in design. So if you're looking for a, a head that can move in the, the 90 degree and the 45 degree, 0 0.001 degrees at a time, then essentially you get that no problem from here. If you're looking for a higher powered head, you only need it to move in one axis, for example. Again, not a problem, made in house. Um, I, I see we, we talk about the options, pallet changer, head changers, ATCs, uh, quite a lot of options on the tool changer here, 20, yeah. 32, 40, 60, and even a robot option. Um, good time. So. The robot was there, yeah, absolutely. We tend, to, we tend to sell a lot of these machines with robots. Um, the price tag's not as ridiculous as people uh, think, as prices that I've seen in the, uh, in the past as well. This is a Czech Republic European made machine, heavy duty, all the options that you put into it doesn't tend to, to, to price it out the market like a lot of other companies tend to. Uh, competitive on pricing. What about your Absolutely. support, Ross? Absolutely. And, you know, is, is it good to go to take customers to this factory to see Absolutely. the machines being Absolutely. built? Absolutely. Really to you know, put across that compelling argument? Yeah, yeah. There's a few factories actually over in Czech Republic to visit when you go over. Um, one where you'll see the heads and that getting made. Um, some for, the, for the, the WFT range that we're talking about just now. Then you've got the larger range as well, which is housed in a, in a different building. Um, impressive to see just for the sheer scale of it. So if you're used to seeing smaller, smaller machine companies, smaller manufacturing, this is impressive to go over and see. Support network in the UK. Um, yes, we have our, our service engineers within the UK. We work with, um, with Broadbent Stanley as well um, to actually cover this in its entirety. The fact that they're from Czech Republic, if we need anything, we need it quickly because they're making most of the parts themselves over in the Czech Republic. There's a huge stock holding. If they need to make something bespoke very quickly, Again, we have control over that. Are the are machines fairly quick to get your hands on as well? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Within six months, for sure. Um, we have stock machines as well. Um, for horizontal borers, normally there's a lead time, but we do have a stock, uh, stock machines currently also. So two or three machines normally going through. Again, depends how bespoke you want to be. It's a mm. horizontal borer after all. 
So if you're looking for a large machine, horizontal uh, boring, then of course these machines are an option um, for precision results and longevity by the sounds of it. Contact Ross uh, Ram Engineering and Tooling for more details on the uh, WFT range from Fermat.